Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony, and I got a special guest with me today. This is Derek, NASCAR man, thirty-three forty-five. Hey all, how you doing? Pittsburgh. This is Anthony, and I got a special guest with me today. This is Jay. Yep, I got to remute. Sorry about that, yep. guys. I'm, yep, a, I'm a live <laughs> noob. <laughs> now we go. That's it. We got it. So, all right, our team. Me, Majax, is that? He's in house. R C M A D I A X. How you doing, uh, man? Good to see you. Glad you're here. So, so yeah, we're gonna talk about a bunch of toys tonight, guys. So this will be a this will be a cool stream. Um, Derek's probably like the Mister Miyagi of all things, like Hot Wheels and <laughs> toy related. So I'm super excited to pick his brain tonight. Yep, I'm here. That's what I'm here for. Let's have some fun. I love toys, especially new, old, especially vintage stuff. And this is going to be all different stuff. Uh, this is an entire bag of stuff I pulled from the Goodwill bins. It's all yep. mainly cars and uh, trains and stuff like that. That's cool. Wait, how close is the bins to you, uh, Anthony? The one that I got these from is about 30 minutes. It's a pop-up shop, so it's only there for a couple months. And then they'll be going back to just uh, regular stores. Yeah, See, we we have a regular we have a regular Goodwill about 25, 30 minutes away. But the uh, nearest bins is literally near Thrift Mines, like an hour and forty five minutes away. Maybe wow. two. Yeah, that's so, crazy. I've never been to a bins, and you know I want to. Dude, if you're ever in Pittsburgh, I'll take you out. Uh, see, I wish I was gonna last year. I was thinking because you got we had you guys had the Hot Wheels convention right in Pittsburgh last year. Uh huh. And I was thinking of going, but it was I still wasn't feeling well and just struggling. So this year, it was in Chicago the uh, last weekend. So we'll see where where it's gonna be next year. Yeah. So. But cool. Well, let me start showing you some stuff. Uh, okay. I don't know if you. Hey, Anissa, how are you doing? Glad you're able to make it. You know what, Anissa? I'm going to give you a wrench. He's learning how to do this. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're all wrenched up now. There you go. Yeah, thanks to Derek. You know, I was I was lost as to how to do this, and he kind of walked me through a little bit of it. But these are... Uh, these are all brand new Hot Wheels I'm going to be pulling out, but they're, like, bent. From yeah. yeah, well, out of those, um, the best bet is to put um, put put them flat on the ground, put a piece of 2 by 4 in between them, and they'll they'll flatten out. Okay. Uh, so. I need to think of that. That's a great idea. And if they're little musty, dryer sheets on top of them. These are all... Um, Either from the early 2000s. Yep. Yeah. When you look at the small little number up to the top left hand corner, mm -hmm. that it tells you the year. And um on the back, up in the top, it should have a case code up here. Um, and it'll tell you the case code. Um Hot Wheels stops in September. Uh, sorry, October of the year before and ends in September of the year. So okay. like we're almost done. We're into uh, H case right now for the year. The only letters, they, the only uh, letter that, uh, of the alphabet they don't use is O because it looks like a zero. So no, they I don't do. use that. And um, what they'll do is A, B, C. Like it, it, they try to do every two to three weeks, they try to do a new case. So, but it gets a little, little, little confusing. Ah, uh, there's Darlene. Hey, Darlene. How you doing? She's here. That's Nogus Art. Have you know who Nogus is? I she do, yeah. Probably... I was just getting ready to type hello to her in the chat. Yep. Yeah. We were doing, like, last night with the... She does some great artwork, you know? Yeah, I've seen that, uh, just checking out her channel. Yeah. But, so a lot of stuff is... Uh, the if you, when you When you start talking about treasure hunts and super treasure hunts and specialty cars you really start looking at anything after 1995 after 95 was the first year of the treasure hunts and to find that set you're looking at 15 1600 dollars for that set dang 
One car alone is seven hundred dollars. That's awesome. Yeah, but and it's a white um, Chevy Camaro, and it's gorgeous. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. But after that, then in two thousand nine, they started doing regular treasure hunt and super treasure hunts. What they did is a regular treasure hunt is mostly usually a fantasy car. Mm -hmm. And then they'll come up with like a, a base car, like this car here. This is the 92 Mustang. Now, this is the regular, but there's a darker one that's almost magnetic, not magnetic, um, metallic. That's the super treasure hunt. And it'll tell you underneath, and it has real rubber tires. That's how you know the difference now. Gotcha. And then possibly one per case. That's the tough part. <laughs> so you have to hit those hard. Hey, how are you doing, Paul? Yeah. yeah. Glad you're yeah, here, you man. You do a lot of work at work, Paul. That's good. Hey, anything you can do. If you want to listen to us, who was it the other day? Uh, oh, Tommy from um, um, The Bargain Effects. Um he got a he right in the middle of a live he got a robo call and he was listening to me talking about treasure hunts and everything so he just put the phone down and put me put the YouTube and I'm talking up to talking to a lady I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So now some, some robo some robo call knows about red lines and treasure hunts now. <laughs> but so but yeah, some of those some of those the two thousand ones are not bad. Uh, they range between three and five dollars, unless you find something that's an error. Which okay. happens is they change. They might put. They might forget to put a tire on the car, or okay. or what they say it's it's called unspun, where they don't put the car together. It's in pieces. It's like well, how did this pass quality control? They do that because they want to have something that's interesting for some people. Hey, look at this. God, the car's not even put together. <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? So, here's my girl. There's What's up, Kim? Kim, yep. you're definitely getting a wrench. Yes, Kim. See? I taught him how to do that, so that's <laughs> thanks to you guys. You know? So, but yeah, no. So, so would you say all of these are pretty much around the same same time frame, yeah, same value. Like I said, the same cat. The just the packaging is just all similar. So these are usually two thousand one, two thousand two, two thousand three had that same circle, and then they started changing it up. Where um, they just changed the card. They want to change the card every year, but they just changed the way that they do different things. Now, before, if anybody don't knows. Uh, treasure hunts until 2005 they used to have like here on the side of the card here this used to be green and that's how you knew it was a treasure hunt gotcha. in 2005 they said uh -uh, no more you got to look for a little logo on the car that's that looks like a flame and that's how you know it's a treasure hunt so it's not you can't go to the case and go oh god oh there's the green thank you i'll take that car the first couple of times, a lot of people will go into the store and find it green, but they're not green. It was monsters or whatever. And they're like, this isn't a treasure hunt. No, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> Poop on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, basically you say these ones right here, would they be best like just putting in a lot? Yes. Yes. Lonnie had uh, that case that he got in. He had like 72 cars in there. They were all from different areas. But most like like those, um, I said, just go through them, look for the treasure hunts, look for that, everything else, pile them up 24, do like a 24 lot, throw it out there for 50, 60 bucks, see what happens. You know, cool. Cool. So I'll put all those together. But I got, yeah. like I said, I got a ton of stuff here. <laughs> um, I got a bunch of little figures in here too. Mm -hmm. I just figured with them weighing such little amounts, I just, grabbed everything like that's um that's from sonic yeah that is um what's the yellow one adam from what? sonic there's tails there's the yellow one that looks like that sonic the hedgehog yeah he looks just like sonic <clears throat> oh knuckle that's not knuckles is it no, no. knuckles is red yeah i was knuckles gonna say red. Knuckles is red. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you used to play that all the time. I can't remember what it is. But it is it is from it is from Sonic. I know that for sure. It made from Sonic. Right. Yeah. But like a Venom. Venom. Yep. That's the Imaginex Venom. Yep. The little flash guy. I think that's the reverse flash. The reverse flash, yep. Is it yellow? Yes. Yeah. I got a ton of these uh different cars that come in like baggies like this. Yep, those are those are store bought. They're like a um, dollar store. Gotcha. They're supposed to have a cardboard top to them. Okay. So that's maybe that's why they got donated. None of them have cardboard tops. Right. Yep. So did you say those are all one big lot too? Yeah, one big lot. No, you're not gonna get a ton for them. Maybe ten bucks. Okay. But they're they're. Okay, I just remembered it. I just remember what it is. This okay. is what I was looking for. I kind of know what that yellow Sonic is. What? Super Sonic. Shout out to all them wrenches out there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, super, that's super Sonic. <laughs> what the wrench? The, no, no, the um, the yellow. Oh, the yellow. Okay, gotcha. Super Sonic. I'm thinking of Dragon Ball, and I was just like yellow hair. Yep. Super Sonic. So like one of these. Yep. Those are the. Those are all. Those are all the five and dime store toys. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, fifty cents a dollar, you know, stuff like that. So it sounds like a lot of these. I'll probably just end up taking to the flea market. Then I think this yeah. is probably one of those ones that one were in the baggie. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I do got some metal ones. Like this one definitely needs some love. I don't know if this is a Hot Wheel or a Matchbox or that's what it a, is. It looks a, a little older. Porsche. It looks like a Matchbox. Oh, that's a Yatmane. The wheels. The wheels on that. Are co it's called a Yatmane. They're they're Japanese, Hong Kong made. They're not bad. You know, you can get 50 cents a, bu a buck for them if they're really in good condition. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kami, you wish, wish you made a sledgehammer? What do you want to <laughs> knock everybody on the head? <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple of these, like Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph, uh, Burger King toys. Yep. 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 Guessing this is Avatar. Got yeah. like two of those. That's one of those. Yep. Man and woman. Yep. The uh, trains. I'm wondering if they're if they're worth anything. I got a ton of trains. Like probably over half of this is. That and that's like, like a it's like a metal Thomas? train. Is that Thomas. Look at the I, is it a I do have a bunch of them with Thomas. This doesn't have like a face or anything on it on this. Okay. One. Yeah. So that's just a basic. Yep. Yeah, those those can go three five bucks three to five bucks each too. And they're all die cast so. A lot of people like their train stuff. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. <laughs> it's another one of those trains, and that's that is one of the Thomases. Yep, that is Thomas. It's like a metal one. Yeah, those are good. I've even raced one of those. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. <laughs> How'd it do? Uh, Thomas really, himself, I think. Yeah, it is. Really? No, that's not. That's, that's Thomas. Is it Thomas? Yeah. It looked like Thomas, but they, I forgot that he had the, the tender on the back because there's Gordon too. He's another, yeah. But um, it's like a little Yoda. I think he opens up. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So, so yeah, I thought I picked him up when he was like open. Yeah. Yeah, there's just all kinds of different logos on these cars. Yeah, those are the yeah, those are the ones that are at the dollar store, five and dime store, pretty much. Like this little guy here. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. That's a, that's a corpse figure. It's. A spinoff of G.I. Joe. If you look in the inner inner leg, and it should say Leonard. Yep. There you go. That's a corpse figure. But that's an 80s corpse figure. You can get $5 each for those. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm going to set him aside then. There you go. I have a whole bag of them sitting next to me right now. <laughs> awesome. The little Tigger thing. Yep. <laughs> this is like a just feels cheap. It's like a little plastic, plastic fire truck one, yeah, type thing. Yeah. Like Those are the ones at dollar store. You know, the mm -hmm. that's what I figured. Make a kid happy. Here you go. <laughs> probably what will end up happening to it. Yeah. This is, I'm guessing, like some kind of work vehicle. That's it. It's supposed to have a, it's supposed to have a, a plow on the front of it. Oh, yeah. It looks like it would have something over here because yeah. it's like little things move. Yeah, so that's it. busted. 
Yeah. Okay. Throw it in your 50 cent pile. Somebody will buy it and have some fun with it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'll probably just take all these like little cheap cars off to the flea market and just blow them off for 50 cents. Right. Yep. A couple of these like Elvin and the Chipmunk things that like talk. Well, yeah. Yep. Those are all from, they're all from the Wendy's or Burger King or McDonald's or more Thomas. It's like yep. a That's green the, guy. That's Percy. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, so it's funny. Like I was saying, when we raced it, one of the race committee members put on his phone, he put the Thomas song when it was going down the track to make it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Is this another one of those? Um, that's, a, that's a Star Wars. Oh, is it? Look, to look on the back or look in between the legs and look in. That looks like an original, dude. That, that's a that's an original biker scout from um, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I'm like blind. I need to like use this light. Oh yeah, there's something on his back of his legs. Yep. If Made it's in a, Hong Kong. Yep. Kenner, 1983. It says uh, LFL 83. Yep. The LFL 1983. It says. Yep. That's uh, Luke Lucas Films. That's why. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, yep, that's an original biker scout from Star 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 Wars: Return of the Jedi. Yep. See, uh, RC Madix says scout trooper. Scout trooper. Yep. Awesome. You're looking at probably twenty five bucks for him. That's awesome. That's a great grab. <laughs> that probably paid for the whole bag. Yeah, exactly. That's when you <laughs> like finding stuff like that. Bang! There it I'm is. One of these guys too. That's a corpse. That's another corpse. Okay. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. He looks similar to the other guy. It, when when you look at the back of a corpse figure, um, uh -huh. they have corpse has two screws sometimes, and sometimes they have one. The original one back one. in the eighties to compete with uh, GI Joe and to confuse people, they did the one screw. Now they come with two screws in the back, so they make the difference. Gotcha. But, but those are still, uh, yeah. But uh, right now. I know he's saying it's not worth near 25. Right now, Star Wars is really, 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 really strong. Uh, yeah, you can f stop 5 to 10, but if somebody's really looking for that biker scout, you can pretty much ask what you need for, for him. And it, all, all he has is just that little little gun, and it might be sitting mm -hmm. in the bottom of the bag. You don't know. You know? Yeah, I, I grabbed pretty much everything I saw action yeah. figure related. Yep. I'm guessing this, oh yeah, definitely says corpse on him. Yeah, it so. says corpse right on it, yep. So I'll put him with his friends. This is a plastic train thing. It's like a uh, like little that's, fuel that's thing. Tom, that's Thomas the Train, too. That's soda. That's where he oh, lives. Okay. Yep, that's the fuel. Another chipmunk. More Thomas the Train. So yep. yeah, I got I got like a whole thing of Thomas the Train. That's perfect because the diecast stuff is good, and kids still like that stuff. Would you um lot these, or would you just sell them piece by piece? Um, it it depends. You could you could do it as a lot, but I would suggest to try them individual. Okay. And then if if you send it through for your first time and it doesn't go, see, uh, and then budget to get, then do, uh, budget together. Like uh, uh, Kimmy's saying, she sells a lot of lot of Thomas stuff too. So, right? I, wouldn't you agree, Kimmy? That uh, try it to individual because some people are looking for that certain one. I have one sitting here. It's motorized, but it's diecast and it's still sitting here. So I don't know. It's maybe because mine's motorized. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. She, she does it separate. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely do those ones separate then. That makes it a little bit okay. easier. They Even made, the plastic ones, Kim? Or just like I, the metal well, ones? They only made that plastic because it's um, uh, it's supposed to go with the extended. Because if you make them all die cast, they won't be able to push. Gotcha. Yeah, some of them are actually motorized where you can use on an HL scale track. track. So... Thanks for sharing Derek's up. channel. Yeah, Kimmy, Kimmy put it in for me. Thanks, Kimmy. Kim's awesome. Yeah. Yep. 
I'm glad she got to a thousand. She got to a thousand quick. Kim, you can put your channel out there too. If anybody um, in the chat hasn't seen Kim, I'm sure you probably all have because she's awesome. But um, her channel is awesome. I love watching yeah. her lives. And anybody who's not who's not um, a wrench, if you know the other people that are in the chat that don't have wrenches, you can put theirs on because they're not. When you don't have a wrench, it's hard to put your. You can't put your uh, own uh, link in. It won't let you. So. About this thing, which I thought was pretty cool. It's like that a, is a uh, Hot Wheels team transporter. It usually yeah. came, usually came with a car, but yep, those are cool. Those are so so like three four bucks without the car, just like that. Okay. Yep. Cool. So maybe I'll put him separate too. Yep. Got this guy. I'm not entirely sure what what he's from. Uh, you'd have to look so in the bottom. Oh, Jurassic Park. Oh, is that what that is? That's Jurassic Park. You can put him aside, too. A lot of people in the Jurassic Park. He comes. In yeah, 1997. Comes, yep. That's from the first one. And that you want to look at, um, if you check it online, I'm trying to remember. I think he came with a blue dinosaur with a little okay. cage. So if you have all that together, then you can sell them. So. Cool. This little guy, I'm guessing he's probably like a McDonald's thing or that's a um, Mega Man, something like that. Master Mastermind, one of the one of out of one of those cot, cartoon cartoon movies. The yeah. guy with the suit with M on him. With M. Yeah. yeah, I'll show you. I yeah. don't know if this is like an Incredibles guy or something no. like that. Or he's not Incredibles. That's um, is it from Mega Mind? No, Mega Mind is the guy with the that might be. I thought that was the guy he competed against. If it had Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he knows pretty good, too. Oh. That was him yeah. I'm guessing this is probably Star Wars, too. Yes, that is the gunner. Gunner that, that was that worked inside the... Um, the um, what is it called? What? The, the, no, the big uh, planet. Death Star. The Death Star. Ooh, wow. The Death Star. Yeah, this one's 1977. Yep, that's from the that's the first one. So that's mm -hmm. one of the, the guys from Mega Mind. He, yeah, the awesome. guy the guys from Mega Mind, the other guy, but that's one of the original. He's a little beat up. You can see the black is missing on some of the pieces. Yeah. Throw him out there for five bucks. Okay. So yeah, because he's not he wasn't a major pro product of Star Wars, he was just an additional figure that they added on. So, gotcha. Death Star, yeah, Death Star Gunner. Yep. Got this guy. Jack Jack. Jack, 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 Jack. Jack. Yeah. Yep. That's probably uh -huh. uh, McDonald's toy. Yep. Yep, McDonald's. Yep. Got this little Lego that's, thing. That's Emmett from the Lego movie. Yeah, I think he opens up like some yep. kind of puzzle or something puzzle. like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Screwdriver to go with the wrench. There you go. We can get. We can give that. We can give that one to Kimmy too. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's earning it. Got like a little Thomas tractor looking that's thing. Tractor. That's a tractor that sits off to the side. Yep. That's metal die cast too. Yep. I don't know all the names from Thomas. It's so many different characters in that. That's another so it says soda on it, right? Yep. Yep, that's the mail. That's the mail carrier. Yep. Got a um, milk. Yep. Tidmouth milk. Yep, that's another that's another um you had that piece. I think you still have that I piece. Have, I yeah. Sure. My, uh... Oh, I think I sold that, didn't I? Yeah, it's another, the thing I, I sold. Yeah. It's another Thomas here. Yes, that's the that's the nice one. That's that's Gordon, I think, if I remember right. That's the the big heavy duty one. Yeah. Now, just looking at these, is there a way to identify what each piece is? It should say it right on underneath. It, yes, I think, I think I did. Yeah, it just says Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen ninety five. All right, yeah. Then uh, each one. I've never really watched the show a lot, 
Mm -hmm. I just remember Percy Thomas Warden. That's another. That's another Thomas. Yeah, the green one. Right, but the kids. It the, doesn't it say on the front of it what his name was on right the top front, on top of his eyes. No. No. Okay. Some of them had names on them. Some of them didn't. I was Thomas the Tank Engine guy. Got like a little passenger train. Yep, that's another piece of Thomas. Wow, you got a lot of Thomas stuff. That's great. Yeah, I literally went through and literally since I've been watching you, man, I've been digging into the bottom of these bins trying to find like whatever like little pieces like this that are cheap that I can, mm -hmm. you know, that I can get for next to nothing and that's the wind, that's a wind up yep okay yep. oh yeah yeah i see the wind yep. up there yep the main characters usually have their names that's what i thought kimmy yeah she's saying you can always search by him by the picture so okay cool yeah but. now the wind up would you say that's like something to sell for 50 cents or would that be something worth selling on on ebay i don't know kimmy what do you think on that one i would probably put it with the other ones yeah, that's Percy, but he's a wind-up for uh, Percy. Um, Kimmy, that's the like said, Thomas stuff. Is my it works. Say, my son it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I would put it with, with probably by itself, and if it doesn't okay. go, then because there might be people that just do all the wind-ups and they're missing a couple. So another milk. Yep. No, it, it is it is plastic, Kimmy, but it's a it's a uh, w white wind up. It's a wind up. Yeah, plastic. it has a little crank on it. Yeah, he's the main character. Try it by himself. Yep. So you see, yep. just crank that. Yeah, she said, try it by itself. And Thanks, Kim. I'll yeah. definitely do that. And I love selling small stuff too. Right. Do, any anytime I can get my hands on stuff like this, I always grab it. Um, That's another piece. Yep. Yep, and this has something written on it. I'm trying to Clarabelle. Looks Clarabelle. Like. Yep. That's there you go. So she's a main character. It's just a random truck. Looks like yeah, a Hummer. Those, yeah, those are the Hummers. Those were done. Those are supposed to be Hot Wheels, but they're done by uh, McDonald's when they do their oh, Barbie yeah. and McDonald's play sets. Okay. So just it's a, a pullback, fifty cents. Okay. Then, gotcha. Another one we got Bill. Yep. The okay. metal one. Bill. Yep. You're gonna have you're gonna be the king of uh Thomas the tank engine. <laughs> it's another one. I believe this one's Thomas. Yes, it is. Yep. Thomas is one. And the Thomas is one. That's why right. the other one was number four. Yeah. We've got some coal here. That is that is another Thomas, but that's the magnetic Oh yeah, there's a face there. I didn't yep. that. That's the coal that's the coal. Anna and Clara Bell were the two main passenger coaches. See, and you have both of them. So I'm, I'm getting a huge education here on these trains just between you <laughs> and Kim. This is awesome. <laughs> Got a tar, tar train here. Yep. Doesn't have a face on it or anything. Yeah, that's that's another one of the Thomas. Yep. Thomas. Oh, this is a Thomas. He's like a little that, uh, yeah that trolley was bust. Part. Yep. He goes on the side. He should be wood. He feels metal. Metal? Okay. Because they made wood ones too. So. Oh, yeah, it's the little plastic tires. Yep. The other ones, or I mean rubberish. The other ones are yep. mainly plastic. That's, this that's, guy. that's, yeah, remember on the side. Clarabelle. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I have two of those then, I think. Yep. Godred? Yeah. Yep. That's another Thomas. Yep. Hey, wow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if you're ever in Pittsburgh, I'm taking you to the bins. That's you, it. You'll make a killing there. I can the imagine. You have. That's that's Thomas, too, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it has the ERTL, so yeah, I would assume yep. so. Yep. Another Soder Mall one. Yep, mail. Yep. Yeah. Kimmy's saying you scored on this Thomas stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. What, what's Another one, number two, whoever he is. That's number two. That's the other one. Like Thomas. Yeah. 
They're just different, They're just ones. different ones. She. Yeah, Kim, Kim, well, she's got a she's got a young boy, so she, you know, you guys are too old now. <laughs> it's another Thomas. This is number ten, Douglas. Douglas, yep, yep, the original uh, Cole, Cole. Another Thomas. Number there you one. Go. Wow, man, you are like. <laughs> Another Thomas. There you go. Yep. I thought it was plastic at first, but it's actually metal too. Right. This that's, Thomas. Yep, that's the tractor. Yeah, missing the uh, the front skid like the other thing, but that's okay. Uh, that's part of Thomas. I worked on the farm. On the okay. Road. That or these cheap cars. Tiny little Batman found his way in there. <laughs> yeah, but they, but Batman, you know, people love their Batman stuff. A absolutely. It's another car that definitely needs some TLC. That's a matchbox. A 50 cent car, you know. Even in that condition, do you think? Even in that condition, yeah. Some people, like, I'll buy them because I'll take them apart and customize them, you know. Gotcha. Certain cars you can't another find. Another one of them cars, just a different type. Yep, yep. Those are all the dollar, the dollar, dollar store. Wonderful. I don't know if this one's complete or not. No, it's not. That is a. It's it's one of those dollar store ones, and it's supposed to have a dump on the back. Okay, that's what I figured. It looked kind of chintzy that way. And Douglas, other car. I think it's number number ten on it. You can usually get ten for him, not the third. You're depending talking about. Are you talking about yeah. this one? Yep. Okay. This one's in pretty good condition. I mean, from what I can see. I mean, you guys probably know better than me because I'm still learning a lot of this stuff. Right. I grew up with like Transformers and wrestling action figures. So yeah. I didn't really, you know, know a whole, whole lot about it. Another cool one. Yeah, cool one. Yeah, it goes right up with the other one. Yeah. And looks like this is another matchbox. It's a pickup yep. truck. Another matchbox, 50 cent, you know. Another one. We got an Annie. Yeah, that's the Annie and Clarabelle. They're they're like sisters on the on the on the show. Gotcha. Let's see, we got a number seven here. Yeah, he's another one. He's like the trial to the back trolley. Yeah. Got another one of these buses. Yep, the double decker, double decker yep. English buses. Yep. Yeah, Jerry, we're doing. It. He's got a lot of Thomas. And <laughs> and, yep, that's another one. It's not yep. person. That's another G W R. Yeah, that's um Great Western Railroad, I think. Another corpse. Yep. This looks like a little cheap one. Cheap one, yep. When you see plastic bodies and there's nothing on the bottom of them, and they look like you can, if you step on them, you'll just crush it. Yeah. Them. Yeah, those That's are the one ones. one of these two. Yeah, they usually came like five, six to a pack, some of them. You know. Are those any good for racing, or are they like bad for racing too? Uh, I use those in our slowest racing cars. Like we have the slowest, slowest car race, so it has to finish, but it can take an hour to get there if it has to. That's another, gotcha. th that's another Thomas train. Yep. Set. yep. Damn. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of Thomas in this bag. Cool. That works. Another Thomas with the yep. uh, coal. Number five. Yeah. Yeah. This now, might be one of the pieces to something. Maybe right. that truck. Could be. Yep. Now remember, we don't want to see a video of you playing on the floor trying to make a train track <laughs> go around. The, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll try to hold. The green one you just had is the track master. Okay. So. I'm guessing this one, Kim. Yeah, the longer one. Yeah, that's the Trackmaster. So, 
cool. And then I got the number six green one too. He's a little bit lighter of a shade. Yep. Yeah. yeah, if you're into Lionel and everything, people usually like Thomas. It's just having a talking train was a little far fetched for me. Yeah. There's a matchbox. Yep. Yep. It's not pretty bad. Cool. Camaro, you know. Yeah. You probably get a buck for that one because it's in pretty good shape. So. So it gets from 1990. Yep. Yeah, they had those weird wheels in the 90s. Okay, so we got a cheap one here. Yep. Looks like another matchbox. It's got some like paint on the windshield or something. Somebody must have tried to do a custom and yep. failed. Well, usually what back then those everybody who had testers paint from their model kits just had went to town with it. Yeah. Yeah. It gets a little interesting. I like taking those off sometimes. A lot of time. Yeah, another another Thomas. Uh, yeah, this one's Mavis, it says. Mavis. Yep. But the easier way to get that paint off uh -huh. on, those, on those is uh axe spray. Okay. That's cool. I never even would have thought that. Yep. Cheap one. Yep. I'm guessing this was in with the Thomas stuff too, because it's metal. Yeah, that's um Sir, that's not Sir Topham Hat. That's the other gentleman. That's the conductor, one of the conductors. Gotcha. If if you have a guy in a black suit with a white shirt, and they call him Sir Topham Hat. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Random cassette tape in there. Songs that got us through World War Two. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Don't really know how. I don't know. I must have just been. Dumping stuff in, and <laughs> I don't know. It's so worth anything. I'll sell it. <laughs> oh, yeah, somebody, somebody would like it. Some grand, somebody's grandma. Oh my god, this is the music <laughs> I used to listen to. Yeah, and then we tell it to you. Say, by the way, I have friends that have cassette players that still work. You can buy them from them. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. The, it's lady. Yep. Yeah. It's the Sir Topham Hat's wife is Lady Hat that uh, Kimmy saying. Okay. <laughs> Lady Hat and Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> Those wonderful English what they brought to us. <laughs> but yeah, you that you made out really, really well with that with those with those Thomas stuff. You're gonna do really well with it. Yeah, I figured since they were die cast, they'd probably be worth grabbing, so I just grabbed everything that was there. <laughs> yeah. so then basically all the plastic stuff you think I should just you know sell for 50 cents a piece yeah yep okay what about these like McDonald's like Alvin and the chipmunk I things? told him like I told him like five for a buck in a little box of all okay. that. unless it was like some of the older stuff from the early 80s and 70s that's what really sells Gotcha. Stuff. Yeah, these are definitely newer. Yeah. I mean, one of the bigger ones that I I know, uh, we went to a yard sale and a guy had uh, from Burger King had the whole um, inspector gadget. You had to buy each kid's meal to, to build the build uh, inspector gadget from the movie. And guy was guy sold the whole bit of it for like 20 bucks. Wow. Crazy. I was like, wow. I didn't think they were that good. But I don't know if that was one of the chipmunks or if that was one of you. Alvin's over here with his two girlfriends. <laughs> hey, uh, Jerry, I just gave you a wrench, man. Welcome to the wrench club. <laughs> you now you have to keep that there you now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to sell it. I'll just leave it here by the computer. There you go. But um, <laughs> I need to find a use for the screwdriver. Uh, no, that's 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 for the trolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of wrenching them off, nah. screw you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kimmy, you're you're like uh, you're going crazy in this tonight. Yeah, Kimmy, you're something, awesome. Something you like. I'm guessing this is some kind of portable charger. This was the other thing that was in there. My charge, yes, it's one of those. Um, uh, what are they, it's like a halo and those type of areas, but different uh, setups. 
cool. Yeah, yeah right. some of the plastic stuff does smell good, Kimmy. I know some of that. Um, the new stuff, the to uh, the Tomi Tomika stuff, is really because it's so expensive when you buy it. It 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 keeps its value. So remember, hit the like button, everybody. It's in this chat. Yeah, definitely hit that like button and. Uh, I guess we're far enough into this video that I can say this. I want to give some of this stuff away. So um, definitely hit that like and let me see what we're at as far as likes go. And once we get right. to it. Yeah. Should be right in front of you. It should be where you're at. Yeah, I set my computer up weird and I didn't want to have that thing buzz it in. Yeah. So I'm just going to look on my phone. Hey, what's up, Destiny? You showed up finally. Destiny, how you doing? Glad you're here. I'm going to give you a wrench, too. Welcome to the Wrench <laughs> Club. <laughs> That's going to be your thing now, Anthony. That's going to be your thing now. I it'll be, it'll be like knighting someone. You've now been knighted, Destiny. <laughs> You've been wrenched. <laughs> See, yeah, her, is her Irish twin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we know. Wrench is rule. That's right. That's what you got to do. It's all about the wrench. Yep. All right. So let's see here. We have six six thumbs up right now. So nice. whenever we get to 10, I'm going to start giving some of this stuff we looked at away. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. Let's get those lights up. Let's get people in here. Come on. Let's show for love to everybody in this chat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this eBay box with just a whole bunch of that stuff. There you go. See, see. Kimmy's. I'm surprised Kimmy's. Kimmy's been talking more about wrenches. <laughs> no, Kimmy, yeah. There's nobody else here to get tend in for the wrenches. You guys got it. You know, I'm seeing more blue than anything else. <laughs> That's okay. We got people here. Yeah. You no. Know? And in all fairness, though, I you know it's my first show, so I'm trying to like just wrench as many people as possible. So well, that's, that's that's what happened when I did my first my first live. I was on the road with uh -huh. my son, and with the, with the phone, it's a little bit harder, especially when you're on the move. So it's like, oh wait a minute, um, no, no, I need. To. And then I had one person come in and was like trying to tear up the chat and I'm just like I and I saw Lonnie was in and I says Lonnie hold on a second and we stopped and I got him a wrench and that was the end of that that was the end of the rent that was the end of the um the trolls they were gone. Yeah that's awesome. Yeah these things right here did you say throw in the fifty cent pal? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like a little flash guy. Yeah the the the, the Star Wars stuff you go to Go to Dollar Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, go in and they have their snack bags, but they're long and okay. they're narrow, and they fit the Star Wars figures and, and the good Hot Wheels perfectly. And you just seal them up, and then okay. you can mark on it what they are and sell it. Okay. Because yeah, you don't want you don't want them sitting out. But if you know when you have a table out and you have that piece there, if it's just by itself, somebody could just take it. When it's in a bag, you're like, oh, I mean, I had seven bags there. Now, why is there a bag missing? Makes sense. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've had that happen with video games and stuff like that, too, yeah. in the past. It's just, it's brutal, but it's like, you know, how big how big's the free market that you do, uh, Anthony? The one I like to go to the most is called Rogers Flea Market over in Rogers, Ohio. And mm -hmm. uh, they'll get like 10,000 people there in a weekend. It's, wow. it's huge. That's cool. So it's well worth going out to uh, Ohio to get there. Cool. Yeah, we have one. It's at it's at a it's at a speedway, Econ Speedway in Mass. It's right over the border, and it's not even five minutes away from here. And they get about three hundred vendors, but they get probably five six thousand people come through in a day. Was yeah. only open, only open on a Saturday. Yeah, I do sell at Rogers. Okay. Yeah. See. Hey, what what's your first name? R C M A D I A X, or perhaps you can 
teach me how to say that. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, Taco? Taco Stacks, what's up, man? How you doing, Taco? Thank you. So I love I love some of your videos. I've tried to talk to you before on some of your lives. I know you got so many people that jump into your to your lives. It's so hard to talk to you, but glad you're on with us because this is I see you grab stuff. And the other day, man, I saw one of your videos a couple I think it was a month ago. And he walked, he was at a in front of some guy's trash, and there was three my little pony carrying cases in the trash from the eighties. Wow. And he left them. And I was like, ah, no. <laughs> Cause they're like thirty to forty dollars each. All you have to do is hit them with some Lysol and clean them up and those sell like hot cakes. Taco Stacks has officially been wrenched. There you go. There you go. <laughs> RC Mido. Mido. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm glad he showed up. You know. Yeah, that's great. super cool. So, Definitely humbled by that. Your channel is awesome. Who, does, who doesn't know Taco? <laughs> You know, bounce over his channel. He, he's his editing's great. Uh, I wish I could edit like that, but I just rather go raw myself. And you know, like, subscribe, everybody. You know, we're trying to make a big family here, and let's make this let's make this work for everyone. Yep, you feel free to share uh, any of your channels down below. Taco, how's uh, how salsa doing? I have uh, two. Uh, Golden Doodles, so I know how they react to a lot of things. I know, Kimmy, but, you know, there are some people that don't know who a lot of people are. That's the thing, you know. We're trying to get everybody to know everybody. And so, especially here in PA, I mean, you guys, if you guys don't know, Anthony, or you don't know Pat, you don't know Taco, I mean, and you have, of course, you have Nostalgic, and you have Blue Bus Dave and that whole crew out of New Jersey. I mean, I feel I feel lost over here. The only ones I have is I have, uh, well, I do have Dab Kitty. I do have her. Um, Thrift Mine. Thrift Mines, you know, but anybody else really that does a lot on YouTube. Um, more. Hey guys, we got a visitor here. <laughs> Hi. So, Hello. What happened, what happened with your shift? I was just downsized. They didn't need. Oh me. really? Yeah. Uh, I still get paid for it. So she just got sent home from work. Hi, Mama. But you said they're paying you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They have to, right? They have to. Once you. Which one? She nursing? Yeah. Yeah. But see, so my her her wife. They're all saying hi. Yeah. I don't know. Your your wife and my wife would probably talk all the time if they had, because that's all we do. She work all the time. Yep. So she goes in at six, doesn't get out until three. But they don't, they don't they don't they don't cut. They don't cut at the hospital where, where she works. They don't, they ask to to stay even longer. <laughs> you want me to stay today? I'm like, nope. <laughs> I'm good. For a little bit. No, I'm gonna go upstairs. You want to show them Chloe? Our, one of our dogs has a bum arm right now. Uh, she's been like limping around and crying. So oh, we brought her down here to hang out with me while I did the show. And oh. here, let me let me show you. She's she's hanging out down here in a little box. Oh yeah, oh, in there. Yeah, yep. she's just kind of hanging out. There she oh, is. She's cute. Yeah. yeah her name's Chloe. Chloe. She just got groomed. Yeah, yeah. It's Chloe and Ashley. That's uh, that's Anthony's wife Ashley. She works at uh, uh, medical too. <laughs> so, yeah, it was funny because you heard well. You heard my dogs last night on the live. They were going nuts, you know. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I here take the ice pack anyway though. For we we've, we've been icing her arm because like literally it's so inflamed that unless like we put an ice pack on it, right? It, it like kills her. So we've been icing her, and uh, for my back, I get, like, uh, these pills called tramadol. It's the same yep. thing the vet gives them. Yeah, so they, literally, we just smash up a tiny piece of mine, put it in some peanut butter, and, and then give them yes, the of it. Yep. Now, just so you know, hon, 
he used to wrestle. Yeah, he used to be a he used to be a wrestler. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna have to bring down my belts. I still have two belts hanging in my bedroom wall. That's cool. Yeah, we laugh because like I remember when when WWF because we were right out of Connecticut. You used, uh-huh. right used to go right by the headquarters every time to go to New York, and uh, I would did um it was the MS one fifty. It was a bike. It was a bike ride from Rhode Island to Connecticut. And we stopped at Central Connecticut College, and everybody's like, "Dude, you gotta come over! You gotta come over here and check this out." I'm like, "What?" And they're like, "Look who's teaching!" And I looked over and I'm like, "Who's that?" And then he turned, and it was George the Animal Steel. That's awesome. He's from <laughs> Pittsburgh. Yeah, but he taught, taught at Central Connecticut College, and a philosopher, a philosophy class. He's know. very smart. Yeah. So I was like, damn, that's so cool, you know? And then Ric Flair is right from Rhode Island himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been doing all our Dunkin' Donuts commercials. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts is huge over in the New, New England area. Excellent. It's like crazy. The only coffee I drink. <laughs> <laughs> it is good stuff. Yeah. I mean, in, in, in Rhode Island, in East Providence where I live, we have one like every other street corner. That's how crazy it is. Okay. But, but like I said, I've been, I I was going to, I told Destiny, I'm going to send them out a small bottle. I told her to order a small bottle. I asked her, do you know what coffee milk is? Do you know what coffee milk? Do you do know, I know what coffee, coffee milk is? Yes. Or, no. You don't know what coffee milk is? No. It's not coffee. You're talking about like creamer? It's not co- see. It's not. It's, it's it's not coffee with milk. It's coffee syrup okay. with 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 milk. You add the coffee syrup in. It's like chocolate milk. Okay, cool. Yeah, but if you go on to if you go on to Amazon, we're known for it in Rhode Island. It's called Autocrat. A U T O C R A T. Okay. And you get a small bottle. It's not small. And it, well, it's it's twelve ounces. I'm telling you. You'll be ordering more and more every day because you, you, you're you going to use half of the bottle the, in the first day because it is so delicious. It's That's just awesome. you go crazy over it, and it's, it's addicting. <laughs> Ash is a huge fan of uh, coffee, so I'm sure she would love something like that. Oh, she, I'm telling you. So I told, I told Destiny and I told uh, Tommy, I said, dude, you have to get this. Uh, you gotta go because it's hard for me to mail it out because they come in plastic bottles and they'll just blow apart by the time they get to them. And I said, you, you just gotta go on Amazon and just type it in and just get a small little bottle. And I'm telling you right now, as soon as you put a, a, a quarter of an inch of in, in the bottom of the of of your, your cup, and then you add the milk and you stir it up, you're gonna sit there and go. What have I been missing? I mean, we used to when we used to go to Florida. We used to drive down, and uh, we used to have to take like three or four bottles to my grandparents every time we used to go down because it's the only place you can get it is up here. That sounds really good too. Yeah, it, I'm gonna ask Ash if she's ever had any. Yeah, um, it's. I yeah. want to answer a few of these uh, questions yeah. in the yep. chat. Um, so I've been asked. Uh, that I do I sell every Friday at Rogers and what other flea markets do I sell at? Um, so it, every Friday that's nice, I sell at Rogers. Um, I don't have a, like my own plot there or anything like that. Um, what I normally um, do is I'll I'll move around a little bit depending on where I see more traffic going, but I always stay like in the twelve to thirteen hundred area uh, because it's right in between the two parking lots. So normally people either have to come in or out and pass my table. So normally I'm in those two areas, uh, depending on where the more popular booths are, I'll try to get near them. I also have some other vendors there that I'm friends with that bounce around a little bit. So um, while we're waiting for spots in the morning before uh, the flea market opens, uh, we'll kind of hang out and you know look at each other's stuff and kind of plan to be near each other. Uh, because we we all source off of each other out there too. Um, oh, that's cool. Your uncle has a permanent spot there for uh, twenty plus years. That's really cool. Wow. Um, 
uh, honestly, I, I've probably seen your uncle just because like we've been going out there for the past um, off and on for the last six years. Um, real serious though, for the past two, um, I also do um, it's in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. It's a, it's called Trader Jack's. I do that on Saturdays sometimes. Um, I can't really do uh, Sundays because of church and stuff like that. Um, up until March, um, Ashley and I actually had our own church that we were running. Um, but after that closed, um, we were kind of just helping out at a friend's right now. But uh, so, yeah, I haven't I haven't really done a, a Sunday flea market in a long time. Uh, I will try to catch like estate sales or yard sales um, either before or after church, though, if I can. Right. How many how many um, flea markets do you have in your area? We don't have a whole lot, to be honest with you. Uh, the closest one we have is in Aspenwall. It's just like a really tiny one. They fill up like the parking lot of a dentist office. <laughs> um, so uh, sometimes I'll, my mom lives in Aspenwall. So on weeks where her and my nephews go to church with us, mm -hmm. uh, I will stop and I'll see like what they have out, you know, make a quick run through. Uh, right. It's a good place to get like little action figures and stuff like that cheap. That's cool. so I've, I've gotten some stuff like that there before. Um, they also have like some cards and like farmers market type stuff there. You plan on doing any I seventy at all? Meeting up with anybody up that way, doing that way? No, unfortunately, right now um, we uh, just financially we're we're not there. Um, Ashley uh, had to miss the first three months of the year working uh, because she had a tumor that. Uh, it successfully was removed first time the doctor couldn't get it out. So she had to go back in for a second surgery and they were, thank God, able to remove it. But because of that, like she's been down since Christmas. So, um, you know, just financially, we're not where we need to be, but you know, in the next month or two, we'll be all caught up and she is obsessed with Disney. So I promised her, uh, like an elaborate Disney vacation in September. That's Which is another reason I, I'd really like to try to get to 1K by then so that we can do live shows like within okay. Disney. Exactly. That'd and be really cool. the nice part is, too, I, I know a lot of the guys who have a, a ton of subscribers. I think once you hit a certain point, I think you can even request a press pass after. I think you have to have so many subscribers, though. That's cool. I so, and, and I've seen that. Jerry, yeah, you, uh, you do Youngstown, I think. Taco's been to Youngstown a couple of times, but I don't, I don't know about that. I ne never Butler. I know, I know. If a lot of people have been trying to get down to over to um, the Golden Nugget, I don't know where that. And that's uh, what's that one? Lemon, not Lemonster. It's some somewhere low, near Pennsylvania, near uh, Philly. But uh, I guess it's really, really well. But it's more antiquey. So to try to find stuff that we like is kind of hard. So, and RCMA, uh, he just brought up the uh, Wildwood Flea Market. I used to go there every single weekend when I was a kid. I used to love that place. Right. I used to be real big into like trading cards and stuff. So I'd be there every weekend buying and selling with the people there, and cool. uh, that that was like my favorite like local flea market that I don't have to like drive to another state for. Like I said, we have. One, two, three. We have seven in the in our small state, mm -hmm. but to really say to really find anything, you have to go almost 35, 40 minutes out to really hit a, a super, super clean market that's both indoors and outdoors because if it rains like this, the, the flea markets are done, but at least we have a couple like we did today. There was one indoors. I wouldn't really call... They call it a flea market, but I would call it more of a more like an antique trading post because yeah. you walk in there and some of the things are like seventeen, eighteen, uh, twenty five, thirty, seventy five hundred dollars. You know, that's not a that's not a flea market. You know, <laughs> when you when you have a primitive and you you drop it and the person looks at you, you know. So um, you said, Jerry, that you set up at the Four Seasons. Is that the one over by um, the Walmart and North for Sales, or is that still called Rossi's Pop-Up? That's one I've been meaning to get to because they have indoor stuff. I just haven't had a chance. That's literally right across the street from a, a Goodwill outlet, like the bin area. So like, that's one I've been wanting to check out, too, that I just haven't had a chance to. 
then uh, we had a couple more people ask about Ashley. Uh, yeah, she she does uh, work for UPMC. Uh, she works at uh, St. Margaret's Hospital, and uh, she works uh, with like a lot of stroke patients and people that have had like severe surgeries or like they're stepped down from ICU. She works with those type of patients. <laughs> Sounds like you, Dean. My wife does the same, the same thing. That's like, cool. Yeah, she were, used to work on um, open heart surgeries and okay. stroke and all that. Yep, that's awesome. Yep. Yeah, UPMC has been real good to her, though. I mean, they're wanting to put her through uh, nursing school so that she can get her RN license and everything. So nice. um, that's been that's been pretty cool. Seems like there's a lot of career advancement there for her. And uh, I, all my doctors are through UPMC, so I, you know, I, I like her being a part of it. Right. My mom's yeah. also worked there longer than I've been alive, so uh, yeah. it was it was nice little fit for her to get in there with my mom. Yeah, it was, well, when my wife and I, I worked at the hospital myself for a little while and I met my wife's sister through working in the emergency room. And then she said, Oh, I have a, I have a sister. Would you like to meet her <laughs> in 20, almost 21 years, 21 years married, uh, almost 20, just past 23 years knowing each other. So, you know, the hospitals do make connections. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, but yeah, we have we have we're like Rhode Island Hospital, but where it's all a conglomerate of lifespan, and it's like four four different hospitals combined that come together. So, but it's it's a good it's a good company to work for for now, but it's it's changed in so many so many years. But for sure. So, Derek, a uh, question for you, man. Yeah. How do you want to go about giving some stuff away here? Do you All want right. do you want to pick the winner, or how how should we decide? How should we decide? You have a 20, 20 – uh, how many people we have in, in the chat right now? Let me check. I'm seeing the same three, four, five different names. So looks like we have ten. Ten. We, have ten, we have ten in the chat. All right. Wrong. I know the first person in was, I think, uh, <laughs> R well, yes, I'm not, I'm not counting me. Um, RC was number one. Just remember, these. RC number one. Unique was two. Nogus was three. Paul was four. Kimmy was five. And Mark Parker was six. And Jerry was seven. Taco was eight. Um, what are we missing? Nine was uh, Trista. Ten was Dark Dar Knight. Darn it, Pro. Yep. So okay, roll it. Let's see. Roll the dice. I'll pick a number between 1 and 10. Sounds good. All right. So go for it. That's on you. i got to find some dice. I'll grab some board games over here. All right. I'm going to have a piece of dice in there somewhere. Yep. really might have picked the only games ever not to have dice. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. Got one dice, but it's not like your regular type of dice. All right. It has like numbers written on it. Hey, Justin, what's up, bud? Justin, what's up, my man?
Justin, you've officially you've officially been wrenched, my friend. We're looking for some dice so we can do a giveaway. In case you wonder why I'm crazily looking through like board games. We have we don't have any dice. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the crazy part. I got my pot cheesy game up in the. Oh, uh, here we go. We got it. I got a piece of dice. Yay! I'm gonna have to do this. Actually, I have, I have two of these trivial pursuits, so I should be able to get two pieces of dice. guys does everybody in the chat remember what number you are and if you do go ahead and type it down below so that way i know who who's getting what i don't think anybody remembers <laughs> what's up pam hey pam yeah, so what we're doing, Pam, is uh, we went through a whole bunch of toys and stuff in the beginning of the uh, stream, and we're going through now, and like in order of the way people came in or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that this is the way uh, Derek, as a guest, has decided to give stuff away. Um, and I guess we can kind of just go through and number them. Yep. But anyway, Pam, you've been wrenched. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, of course, you already wrenched Justin. I mean, if you don't give him a wrench, he's going to jump in the shower again. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, all right. So, let me get another regular dice out. Yep. Oh, I understand, RC. That's cool. That's fine. I mean, we know a lot of people, he doesn't, he doesn't want to be part of the, the whole thing, but... You know what? You're, you're part of this crew. So, you know. <laughs> about going up? Well, give her a pickle. You know what, how bad that was for her last <laughs> night? Oh, man. Poor Pam. Yeah, that was that was bad. I I absolutely love when when Ryan had to eat that uh that Buffalo Buffalo Wild Wings. I mean, that was great. It's still not payback yet, though. You have, still have to get them back. <laughs> All right. So I got two regular dice, and then I got one that counts to four. All right. Sounds good. So. All right. So everybody ready? We're going to roll the dice and see what number we get. I'm going to roll all three because I think we have over 10 people now. Yeah, we do. Yep. So. All right. So just so no one thinks I'm cheating, I'm going to take a picture of it on my phone and show it to you. Yep. All right. So we got 10. We got number 10. And number 10, we're down to Trista Reese. There you go. Awesome. There you go, Trista. You have just won your first box. So, Trista, if you if you don't, if Pittsburgh doesn't have your information, please get with uh, with Anthony and get your information so you can send out that small little surprise box for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write down my instagram yep and you can just send me a message there yep that's my instagram pittsburgh and at 
or you can message me on my wife's Facebook because I don't have my own. And this is what her name is on there. Yeah. Either one of those worked fine. What did you drop in it? You drop it in the water, Pam? Was that his phone died? Trista, was there anything uh, that you saw in the video, if, if you even saw that part, uh, that you specifically liked? Because I'll throw in something special for you and then just fill it with randomness. Hey, thanks for stopping in, RC. I appreciate it, man. Dude, and if, if you're at Rogers and you see me, stop and say hello. Once I get to uh, a 1,000 subs, I'm going to try to start live streaming out there. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. That's what I like. That's what I like doing. I told Ashley I'd like to do a uh, live stream uh, here at the house for a yard sale or something like that. Mm -hmm. Did you get into John's um, um, pick uh, for his uh, GoPro three today? I did. Yeah, I left a comment. Yeah, <laughs> cause that's perfect. Cause you can you can mount that at any angle you need, and you're yep. golden. So. It won't let her tell. Oh, she left. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure a way that we know we know her name and we'll just write her name in. And if we see her again in the chat, we just have to tag her name in the comments. Okay. We can do that. It's not a problem. And I should get back in touch with you, Anthony, and figure out. For sure. And I, I see her in uh, other chats, too. So right. I'll right. just let her know. Cool. Not a big deal either way. All right, so let's go. Do one, do one more box, you think? Or you want to do two more? What do you mean, as far as um, giveaway? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do another one. All right, let's do another one. I want everybody that's in the chat. Yeah, that, I was going to say that's a good idea. Rather than just doing everybody that has been here, everybody yeah. that's here, if you want to um, be in the next giveaway, just hit one. Yep. And if you don't, hit two. There you go. I'm here. Yeah, we know you're here, Pam. What did you just say? One or two? <laughs> hey, very good, Kimmy. Oh, they're going to go to Rod. Jerry's going to go to Rogers on Friday if the weather's good. I'll be going if it's nice, too. All right, so Kim, he's only come on. We have other people here. I know that. What's, What's up, going on? Gaming? Wow. Where did everybody leave? <laughs> oh, chat got disconnected. That's why we're having problems because the chat got disconnected. I don't know if it's on my part or. Harry Tornado, what's up, man? It's official, Harry. You've been wrenched. There you go. Can you read? Can you? Did you see my comment just then? Which one? Yeah, I just said hello. Oh, yeah, I see it. All right, no, because it, it told me the chat was disconnected. So, oh, you're in it to win it. <laughs> Come on, everybody. One, if you want to get involved with this, with we're giving another box away of miscellaneous toys. Paul's in. So we have uh, Edging, Edge for Gaming, uh, Kim, Kimmy, Paul. Who else want in? Hey, there he is. Trista's in now. She Trista, said hey, you, you won the first box. So uh, if you look up in the chat, you'll see I posted my Instagram name, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh in at, and my wife's name, which you can look up her Facebook. Either way, you send me a message, uh, you're going to get the first box of toys. Just if it keeps on lagging, just refresh. That's all you need to do. Um, it, it's been like that for the past couple of days. I think they're doing an up, update 
on the uh, the notification. So, yeah. You're welcome, Trista. I appreciate you being here. Cool. Cool. Really so cool. we have we have four people right now that are interested in playing still. So. I've been thinking about trying something else too on the channel. I'll run this by you guys, see what you think. Um, I've been uh, talking with a few people that are subbed to the channel, and uh, I've been thinking about doing like uh, private hangouts with some subscribers, like when they want to. Yep. How do you guys think about that? Doing it live or just just no, private just, like, just private ones, just to hang out with people. Yeah, that's where a lot of people are. Doing it. I know we, me and Kimmy's done it. Um, Tommy, Todd, you know, it, it, it's the only way that I think that both all of us are going to be um, to get to each know each other better. That's how I see it. You know, just sitting there doing a live with everybody's great. But I, that's why we I like sometimes I like to go on 10, 15 minutes early off ear yeah. so we can talk and understand each other before we go on live and go, oh. Oh, and then all of a sudden it just becomes a, a big clamp and that's it. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about, uh, Trista and Kim. Uh, like there, there's one guy that subs to the channel that um, we just started doing some Google Hangouts the other day because he was asking me some questions. And uh, I was like, dude, why don't we just do a Hangout? You know what I mean? I'm just sitting around listing and you're sitting around listing. You know what I mean? So, right. yeah, I was thinking about doing that more often on the channel. You know what I mean? If I guess if somebody wants to go live and do like a working hangout, we can. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just to like, uh, just so people know I'm here for the community and everything. Right. That's awesome. I really thank you for coming in. Oh, by the way, uh, Rebecca, you've been wrenched. <laughs> Is it sad that I can't wait for a troll to come in so that I can use this? <laughs> we have now we have to make now we have to find an old burger king crown we have to see that i have to talk to my friend that owns a burger king here and see if we can find an old burger king crown and send it to send it to anthony so he can wear it when he does his lives he can he can wrench he wrench the people he needs to wrench that's awesome <laughs> I don't know if we are friends on Facebook yet, Kim. Um, I'm I don't have my own account, so I'm on there uh, just using my wife's. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Anthony does that. Uh, not Anthony. Um, uh, Justin does that. A lot of people. If you have to be almost friends with them, I know Kim. Uh, our first one was through eBay, uh, through uh, Gmail, but you got to be able to do it. So, sure, Paul, you control for me. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, man. At least I'm happy that Sprite Man isn't here today. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cool dude, but you have to, if you ever watch his channel, man, is he loud. He's a gamer, and I guess with the headphones on, he just screams. <laughs> so, but... Yeah, the wrenches, the wrenches will, wrenches will rule. That's it, you know. Now, now we get a screwdriver too. That's the best part. <laughs> let me, um, let me see if I can find you on Facebook, Kim. I'll just add you on uh, my wife's account. Paul, be nice. <laughs> be nice. I'm not a Steelers fan. I'm a Bengals fan. Uh, so you got to understand. To me and me and Anthony talking. <laughs> me me and Anthony talking about screw you, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy, you know. It, you know what? The football has totally changed in the past ten years, and it's not the same anymore. No, uh, really. I'd rather watch. I'd rather sit and watch an old game, even though. I know what happens, but you have to admit you, the, the the immaculate re reception. I mean, com those those are the days that were real football. Oh, you can't touch me! I'm the quarterback. You know, 
Tom Brady gets smacked right in the chest and gets a 15-yard penalty for something that is just, oh, don't even go there, Paul. Oh, yeah. I, I'm from New England. I was okay with the Steelers sucking until you brought the Patriots into it. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that just that, – that just, I mean, I only live 25 minutes away from – Patriot Place and that stadium, and I have a pick, and I have. I mean, it's so funny because I know you know Matt Matt set Matt Matt resales. You know, I know you know Matt. Yeah, he's in Ohio. Um, Shadjus, you know, we were all Bengals fans, so I told them that I would do during football season where all my Cincinnati Bengals stuff and just go right through Patriot Place and, and up and up in Gillette and just start walking around with all my Bengals stuff and be like, let's go, let's go Bengals. I was going to do that live and just bust <laughs> balls because I can't stand that place. <laughs> They're like, we want to see that. I'm like, get me to a thousand. I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I have no, I have no problem in doing that. I just, Here's, here's, here's the story why I don't like the Patriots and everybody who loves the Patriots. Well, yes, Cammy, we know you like the Broncos, but John Elway doesn't play no more. <laughs> um, I was eight years old, went to my first Patriot game at Schaefer Stadium um, when they literally were like the Browns now, one in, one in 14. Um they used to have people that used to drink like sieves. I'm an eight year old watching a game. Next thing you know, there's a fight three rows up. I get stuck underneath. I get stuck underneath one of the bleachers because the kid, the two, two, two fat idiots land on me and almost crushed me. You know why do I? Why would? Why would I want to even bother going to an? Even though it's a new stadium, why would I even want to bother having respect for a team where I'm almost got hurt? You know that's not me. I I don't. If you if you can't enjoy yourself at a game, then don't bother going. Yeah. And, I, and on the way out, my uncle had one of those old fashioned uh, knit hats with the beanies on top. Guy came running by and just ripped it off his head. You know, come on. You know, seriously. So that that's just turned me right off. And Kenny Anderson became the quarterback of the Bengals. The old. Bengal, just, just not even, the, not even the strike helmets, just a regular orange helmet with bangles on the side of it, and you know, just fell in love with the team, and that's it. That's what happens, you know. But you're, you're a loyal fan, man. Anybody yeah. who can stick with a team like that long enough, yeah, my loyal. That's it. I mean, Paul Brown screwed that team up to no end, but you know, but it's. It's coming back. They're coming back. They're trying to do a lot of things this year. They just need to get another quarterback. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. Andy Dalton is a good quarterback, but not anymore. He's already had enough of hits, and it's like you guys. I mean, uh, you got you got three, four quarterbacks in the wings that can easily take take over for uh, for Big Ben. I mean, look at I like the what's his name there the. The bald-headed quarterback that came in last year, they got drafted. Oh. What team? What's that? Are you talking about for the Steelers? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Mason Rudolph? Or no, Joshua Dobbs. Joshua Dobbs. Yeah. He is a very classy guy. I watched him at one of the uh, one of the shows, and um, he was signing autographs and just talking with with people, just being upfront and you know, really really nice. And I was just like, you know, this guy's pretty cool. I like him, and go with it, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's one of those things where, yeah, I know you got Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco's had his day, you know. Casey Keenum and Travis Travis Seaman, come on, really? I mean, he you could have at least gone and got. I mean, go and pick up Ryan uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. You know, he's a guy has has had an an amazing amazing seasons, but only can put half 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 a game together. You know, but so 
All right, so we got what? We got four or five people. I know, I know. Uh, Destiny just came back in, and I know Rebecca is here. Uh, you guys still in? Still in for this next uh, raffle? I know Kimmy. I know you. You were uh, Edge. Ed for gaming. I know he was in. Paul. I know you were in. Uh, Destiny. We're doing. Um, if you if you want to get into the. Um, the giveaway, you just put one in, one in the uh, in the chat. Same thing with you, Rebecca, and Harry. Uh, I know I wasn't sure if you wanted to either, so just let us know. We're doing um, a box. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of these uh, eBay boxes filled right. with um, just a bunch of the random cars and stuff that we looked at earlier in the show. Yep, and I know I and. Destiny, yes, you can race them down your track, okay? They do run pretty well. So, it's right. Rebecca's in. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we went through. Uh, Anthony had a huge bag of um, Thomas the Train. It was a couple of Hot Wheels, some... Uh, Dollar brands and all different stuff like that, and we're, he's putting a couple of boxes together, and we're gonna do a couple of giveaways. First one, Trista won. Now this time, uh, let's see who's gonna win this next one. So, if you're in, just put number one. Yes, Taco Stacks was here, Paul. Yes, he was. He must have gone out and done did some other stuff, but he was here. So. Yeah, all you need to do is just throw one down there. That way we know that you're in. Yeah. And Derek and I will just go in order of everybody that pressed one. Right. You know what I mean? So. Pretty sure Kim's the first one. Kim, and then Rebecca you had uh, second. Um, Paul. Yeah, Paul's in there. Yeah. Uh, Destiny's Rebe in there. Yeah, Rebecca's in there now. Um. Yeah, she, she said, yeah, it was only only one, Kim, one, one Destiny, not not three ones, <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, Paul, he does have some good ones. Shoot, I don't want to be one if three dice are being used. What? No, 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 no. We're going to use one dice because we got four, we got four, five people. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we got five people in. Because so. it really can't be one. I could just use this one. Yeah, that's all. Right now we have five people in. So if we roll a six, <laughs> we roll a six. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rebecca, I know she went. Wait, wait until yeah. So you, know, you gotta see. I was gonna show you guys tomorrow, but yeah, I know she wants that Back to the Future car. Well, <laughs> yeah, I got I got like four or five different Back to the Future cars, and uh, Destiny's like. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta have that car. <laughs> so, all right. So we have. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. Um. So let's try it. Here we go. Yes, we got five. I'm gonna roll this. Yep. Since, since Kim got the one, and that's like a crap number, you can yep. be one and six. How about that? Here you go, Kimmy. One and six because you're you're also the second. Um, the wrench. So <laughs> yep. that second wrench that that Anthony ever gave out to anybody. <laughs> yep, you're so. like the queen of wrenches now. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Ready? All right, guys. Here it goes. Dang, you had a you had a good choice there at three, Kim, because that's what just came up. I'm trying to find where I put my phone so I can show you guys on picture here. Mm -hmm. So it was number three. Was that Destiny? Nope. That was um, Paul Turner. Okay. Awesome. There you go, Paul. Oh, you won that one, my man. You're up. You got that one. Wow. There you go. Ran up a three. Woohoo! So Paul, you're gonna have a little box. Get with uh, get with Anthony. You know, he gave this out on his Instagram and. The Facebook, so get with him and he'll send that one out. Yep. And um, 
We'll do one in about another 15 minutes. How's that sound? Yep. That'll be the last one we'll do for the night. And yep. no, we'll end up because uh, you said there's another show going on at eight, right? Uh, M the MSP um, Mothership Products auction. Okay. So I know Kimmy goes over there, and a lot of other people do too. So. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll end before that, so everybody can get over there, support them as well. Right, and then I know at ten o'clock, I think ten o'clock tonight is also the fattest, the fattest, the best of best. Alex, the fat man, the flip is uh, live show on tonight too. You uh, want to, you want to see something cool? He is crazy. <laughs> He is a diehard Miami Dolphins fan. He lives in Miami, and he is just crazy, crazy good. He's only been doing this for, like, I think six months. He just wants to learn more, and he's willing to listen. And he's got this, he's got this drive that you really don't see in a lot of younger people now. And... Um, Oh, yeah, Rebecca saying Thrifty Dad is on at 8 also. Uh, your time. Hmm? Okay. What time zone uh, are you in? Now, Thrifty Dad, um, and your time, Rebecca, I can't remember. Uh, what time is yours, uh, Thrift, uh, Rebecca? I know, because uh, you say 8 your time. I can't remember. I, we've got people. We've got Wayne out in Oregon. We've got Kimmy in Denver. Central time. Ten. Center, center, coming. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Kim. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kimmy. You know, but center, central time. So that's what. That's an hour, hour, hour behind us. So. Where is she? An hour, or two hours. Central, so it's an hour, right? Because Midwest is two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an hour. Yeah, so it'd be nine o'clock our time. So. If you want to, his uh, usually a mothership products does uh, oh, sometimes two hours. It all depends on who he has on. Um, so six thirty-five. Yeah. So yeah, you're not you're an hour difference between us. Yeah. So that's okay. Um, usually, I don't know, uh, Kimmy. Who does uh, MSP have on tonight? Do you know? Um, yeah, you can't type tonight. <laughs> no, get the fingers going, girl. <laughs> you know. But um, well, you can talk into it. They have, they also have the talk to type. Well, maybe yeah, that's some. That doesn't always work. I was just gonna say that sometimes some of the words you you say one word and it comes out and then you really get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Dia and Barb, who's that? Um, oh, Immortal Hourglass. Okay, and going on Grumpy. Well, there might be some pretty good stuff on tonight. Um, now probably a lot of jewelry. Um, but um, you know, go over there. Check out MSPs. Uh, he'll probably be on for two hours. If you want to, go there. Bounce over to uh, Thrifty Dad at 9. Um, 9 our time. And he's, yep. he's standard time. And then 10 o'clock, he's in standard time. You have uh, Alex, the, the fat man, the flipper. You know? It's one of those great things, man. I love Saturday nights because we have a lot of lives. Friday nights, we have our lives. At least we're all trying to get schedules in so we're not interfering with each other and everybody can enjoy everybody else. Next week is Darling and K. Oh, Nogus and Ge Geisha Treasures. Now that's cool. There'll be some good stuff. I know uh, Darlene will probably be selling a lot of her artwork and uh, Casey will probably be, um, I don't know, maybe more jewelry, I think, with, uh, with Casey. I'm not sure, but. But all right, so we got we got ten more minutes before our next uh, next deal. So uh, let's change it up again because we got some other people in. Um, I want let's see let's see how many people have been listening to Anthony, and we'll figure it out at seven forty five our time. I want. To, I want to see how well people listen to Pittsburgh and the closest person to his age. <laughs> the closest person to his age will win the next box. Can't be on that one. What's that? 
I said, Kim should have a foot up on that one. I just told her <laughs> I her Let's see how good people are. That's at 745. So you have 10 minutes to figure out how to figure out how old he is. If you don't know, you know, the closest to his age is going to win the next box. I think that's pretty cool. I got another car too, Derek. I meant to show you. Found this in the bins. That's a that's a remote. That's a um yeah for the VCR tape. Yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> I am a little. And to make it even harder, here's the here's the funniest one. His age and my age. There's a lot of people know his age. Some people know mine. But let's see if you can get both of those. There's. <laughs> yes, I know you know. I hope you would know, Han. <laughs> there are some collectible coin shows on tonight. I really, you know, I, I, uh, Jerry, I know that might be your, your thing. Collectible coins really kind of, well, that's kind of one like, almost like, nah, I can't say that I like watching golf, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of not my thing. You know, everybody has their own thing, and which that's fine. You know, you can sit there and, like I said, you might know a 1932 uh, copper penny with an A stamp towards where I know a 1968 pink, pink uh, King Cooter with uh, a Hong Kong base. So, so yeah, save me to go. There you go. So, so everybody has their own thing, and I'm glad. I'm glad that everybody has something that they really get into, you know? That's what makes this world different. Now, if we all like the same thing, how boring would this be, you know? Yeah, how boring would life be? You know, I know uh, I had to send you some pictures, uh, Anthony. Uh, my kids really uh, really got to me, but it was kind of uh, – day, day before Thanksgiving or after? Day before what? the church. My our, church? Yeah, our the church. Day before Thanksgiving. The day before Thanksgiving, our, our church that we got married and burnt down. Mm, that sucks. And a couple of weeks before, they had, we have our church bazaar. So I bought a baseball glove, an, AS, a, an, an A2000 Wilson, worth like 200 bucks for, for $7. Oh, wow. Well, Two days before Thanksgiving, I sold it for seven for sixty bucks, right? And then the next day, the church burnt down. So my kids think, well, because you bought it at the church, you know, that this is what happens to our church. You know, we've we've yeah. gone here since I was a baby. But I want to say uh, we have pictures of the church, and you'll uh, you'll like, oh my God, it's they're re we're rebuilding it now, and uh, the church was a hundred and hundred hundred and ten. Wow. Yeah, hundred. Hundred. Okay. So, but so we have I'm, a couple uh, coin uh, people in the chat. Uh, I got a few of these at a estate sale the other day. I paid yeah. like six dollars for all of these. These are like American like coins. They have like different states on them. Right. Yep. And um, they're from Reader's Digest back right. in 1998. Yeah. I don't really know if these are like worth anything. I have a friend of mine who's real into coins. I was going to just give them to him for his birthday, but I didn't know if, you know, if there's any value to these or anything. It all depends. I mean, like I said, they're all different. Each one has different states on it. That look like, yeah, the, the Rhode Island one has a sailboat on it, I, if I remember right, since we had one, or it has a picture of Roger Williams on it. I can't remember. And then these last couple have nine instead of eight. Gotcha. Yep. Then I also got one that has like presidents on it too. Like this mm -hmm. one right here. Oh yeah, that's a good. I've I've seen that one. That's the 1997 uh, Reader's Digest. Yep. So Jerry says they're probably a couple bucks. Yeah. So that's what yeah. I figured. I I didn't think they were worth much, but a good friend of ours is like super into coins. So that's it. That's you know that's all that matters, and you know. Kimmy, you like everything. If a coin was shaped like a heart, you'd probably love it. <laughs> you know. Oh, thanks, Kim. She has she's seen one listed for ten. 
There you go. See? Cool. But, yeah, I think I only paid six bucks for them, and there's, I think, seven there. Something like that. That's cool. Yeah. But, hey, it doesn't matter. It's, it's You never know what you're going to find. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. You can go to yard sales and walk by. And there can be nothing there. You go to a flea market. It's kind of sad when you go to a flea market and you can't find anything. But yeah. it's very around here, very easy to do with some of the flea markets that we have. There's so many people that if they were smart enough, because they they, they have they do a, a lot of uh, extreme couponing. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do, why don't you just get into RA? Why don't they get into FBA? You know, it's, you're not going to go to a yard sale and gonna want to find Dawn laundry detergent, um, toothpaste, toothbrushes. That's not a yard sale. That's literally a mini grocery store that you're going to. Now, yeah. all that stuff are once you get once you get ungated in that then sell it you know it's better okay. that way you know but i anyway. found this one too derek i wanted to show you this this is like right up my alley i had this one on my table here that's like 1992 that. kenner batman that's He's the uh that's the super superpowers the okay superpowers batman yep yeah, I, I just like him because he's Steeler colored. So I was talking over here with all my like little knickknacks. <laughs> I was like, that one's for me. Oh my god! Yes, Jerry. We uh, Don, the auction professor, is amazing. He knows a lot of stuff, um, but he I give him a lot of credit. I was on his chair. I was um, in, in the live chat the other day, and something came up with Hot Wheels, and he goes. I know Hot Wheels. He says, I know a lot of the red line stuff, but he says, let ask. He told his wife, he goes, with that, asking new stuff, he goes, let you go tell his wife, let NASCAR may handle that question. He knows what he's talking about with the newest stuff. And I give him a lot of respect for even stating that, you know, he could have gone on with the question with, with it, but he knew I was in the chat and I thank him for that. And I give a lot of credit for someone that knows a lot more and a lot of other stuff than than me, and to have him say that say that is an honor, I think. So, so Derek, we all know that you're a huge expert when it comes to toys and stuff like that. Like, is there anything else that you're an expert of that people may not know? Well, um, if you watched my ceramics videos, mm -hmm. I love doing ceramics. That's so much fun. And back in the day, I used to be a disc jockey. So, hit me up with music. My, I have a love of music. And like I said last night, I don't know if you remember. Um, I don't know if you like a lot of country music, but Josh Turner just came out with a new album that literally just hit. And what an emotional and very, very, very special. Um, album you would really want to download i was listening to it today and it's a lot of uh christian uh gospel type music but the way his voice just comes across is just if he doesn't win an award for this for this album then the people don't know what they're listening to anymore no so, but yeah that's some of the other stuff i do um i just you know to be right now after the past couple of years that we've had here, uh, to wake up every day and to be happy and live life, that's how I feel right now. Yeah, that's awesome, man. It's a good outlook to have. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the last weekend, because um, I'm still i still struggling with my knee, um, the guys took my wheelchair and my boy Mike and Joe, and they said, listen, we need to get you out of the house. Let's go source And then they grabbed me and off we went this morning. I didn't have to use the wheelchair, but they, my boy Joe came over, picked me up, and said, you know, let's get you out. I cannot have you sitting at home. Even though yeah. you like doing the YouTube thing, you know, you, you got to you gotta get you moving. Yeah, for sure. Pickers got to pick. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Paul's going to go find all them good toys that everybody just, like, salivates over on YouTube. Oh, well, that's why I said when when I finally finally finished this uh, this download tonight, and you guys when you guys check it out, I'm gonna probably do a premiere 
but I'll post it for tomorrow morning at around eight o'clock so people can watch it before everybody goes to mass. Um, it's pretty much my trip of today of the stores we went to and the stuff you're going to see, you're going to sit there and go, damn. <laughs> when can I, when, and I even said, if you guys find anything you see that it's in this, this, I can go back and pick it up. I can, I'll send it. I really don't, doesn't matter to me because it's stuff that I don't collect, but they had actual, in one of the stores, I had uh, the original LJN, um, LJN uh, wrestlers from the 80s. They had uh, Randy Macho Man Savage, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Iron Sheik. I mean, these were all in good condition, all put, put in this case. And I'm just like, that's what I loved playing with when I was a kid. With the blue wrestling ring, you used to bounce them off the ground and they used to shoot up in the air. But that stuff, that's that's hard, getting harder and harder to find because the kids these days, they don't want that stuff. Yeah. Um, yes, I know, Destiny. There is a piece in there that's for you and Tommy, but you got to be careful when you see it. I told you. I warned you guys the other day. So, yeah, Jerry, vinyl um, is getting better now because they came out with vinyl now. Again, but $25 for a vinyl digital album, I still rather stick with CDs and go back to the old style. All right, guys, 745. Yep. It's that answer. Let's get that answer in here. Closest to Anthony and in my age. Wins, wins. It'll be the first one we see come through, too, just in case there's multiple correct answers. And then Derek Sage will be the tiebreaker. <laughs> Not combined, Kimmy. Holy <laughs> crap, dude. Seriously? Um, nope. Um, you seeing anything yet? I mean, there's some close ones. Yeah. Um, Rebecca's closer to mine than Paul is. Yeah, and Rebecca is closer. Rebecca and Paul are closer to mine. So, so Kim's right on mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's, she's right on, on mine, but close. She's over. So that's when you just start going forty six, forty five, forty four. <laughs> Right, exactly. Yep. You're getting there. You're getting there. Let's see how close. Let's see. Hey, congratulations, Kimmy. You got it. Kimmy wins. Cool. <laughs> yes, Kimmy. Yes. So what I'm going to do, too, is I want to send you one of these boxes, too, Derek. Thank so you. So four together. So we have the three. Yep. That, uh, we're giving away in the chat, and then I'm going to send you one too. Just awesome. with, like the stuff that we just went over today. Cool. There's a certain piece that any of you like that you want thrown in. Just let me know. It doesn't matter to me, my man. You're the boss. <laughs> Kimmy's like, you hoo, woo. Kim, you're too funny. I'm glad you won, Kim. Yep. I mean, uh, Destiny was pretty close too. They would ran Rebecca. Yeah, that did not bad considering you. <laughs> you see, <laughs> yeah. pays off to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's why I said you had to know mine and Anthony's. And she's like, "Oh, he's the same age as me." So, <laughs> <laughs> so we know, we know, Kimmy, and what usually women don't don't tell their age. So wait a minute here. This is that. That's good. We. We got yeah. something out of her. All right. <laughs> I remember just telling her last night that I was the same age as her, and my wife has the same birthday as her. Look <laughs> at She's like, I never won anything on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you did pretty good, uh, Destiny. You did pretty good. 
So I think we're going to get ready to wrap it, guys. I just want to make sure there's enough time for everybody to get over to the next live. So I don't want to hog anybody else's airtime. Right. But I, I really appreciate you guys all coming out for our first live show. I appreciate Derek for, you know, being our first guest. That was super cool of you, man. And I just really appreciate you letting me know what we have here. And uh, for those of you who are getting boxes, if you want to know the value of any of the stuff you're getting, Derek basically – told us what everything was earlier in the video that was like the whole first hour of this just going through the whole bag of stuff i pulled out of the bins mm -hmm. so i appreciate you all and uh, until the next time guys take it easy remember like subscribe keep it going guys yes guys and derek's um his link's in the description of this too so i'm sure you're all following him already but uh he's an awesome guy and if you're if most of us are resellers, if you're selling stuff like this, he's the guy to go to. Thank you very much, Anthony. And like I said, anybody wants to talk to him, yeah, even you could talk to Sealers with him. That's okay. We'll let that we'll let that one slide. But he knows a lot of stuff too, and he's gonna be strong. We're gonna help you get to a thousand, my two also, my man. You're yeah. gonna be there. I know Kimmy, I know Destiny and Rebecca. We're we're getting that group together and you're part of that. You're you, you're close to being in the manhole, uh, so <laughs> definitely we'll not laughing in a minute. But so you'll be in the manhole with the guys, and we'll have some fun. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. Just thanks for being so accepting. No, not a problem, man. That's why I said it's a big family in here. So absolutely. Well, guys, you take it easy, and uh, again, I just appreciate it. See you later. All right.